it's Saturday morning. Hope everyone's weekend is starting off nicely. Um, John here. I have my coffee and uh, I'm going to do another shave. Uh, today's shave is going to be again with this Nueve Blue. I want to give it a second shot because the first time I used it, it didn't perform well for me. And I figured, let me try it a few more times and see if it's me or if it's the soap. And uh, I'm going to be using a Omega 1098 professional brush bore that I soaked. And I'm going to be using this Parker 6 8 Japanese razor, Japanese steel. So, uh, or Swedish steel rather, Japanese made Swedish steel. So that's what we're going to shave with today. And uh, so one thing I didn't mention the last in my last video uh, was that this soap is brown. If you could see inside my bloom water, it's brown. So if your bathroom is white, you got to dump this out very carefully because it gets brown stains everywhere. Um, it washes off, obviously, but while you're shaving, there's brown stuff dripping everywhere. So that was one of my things that I really didn't like about it, you know. But uh, so I'm going to dump this off a little bit into the sink. And I'm going to just put a little bit of it back on my cheeks I'm actually gonna rub the top of the soap because this is that all-in-one deal so I'm gonna rub the top of the soap the puck which is soft right back onto my cheeks I've got a couple of days growth so that's just to make sure that you don't get brown stuff from the soap all over it doesn't, I don't think it stains, stains, but it's just ugly looking when you're shaving. There are brown spots everywhere. So now I'm going to, this brush is pretty soaked. I'm going to do a nice load in, out of this. Normally I would just scrape a bunch out and put it into... Uh, a lathering bowl but this is pretty hard soap so and it was lent to me by a friend so I'm just gonna run right out of the bowl with it so I'm gonna load a little more even I'm gonna like Anthony says I'm gonna load it like you hate it just so that I'm sure that I got it I'll give it every possible chance to do what I want it to do and it's com I got a completely loaded brush there so I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the stuff that's on the outside <clears throat> just like I did last time let me put my soap dish down you got to be careful because <clears throat> with wet hands and that dish being porcelain uh, it can it gets slippery on the outside all right. So, like I said before, I had no issues at all with the soap scent. It's a citrusy, florally kind of uh, with cedar, and it's got it's got a lot of stuff in it. You can I'll put the link to the website again, and you could check it out. And let me put some water in my brush. I'm going to load this thing up with water. See if it gets more cushiony. Could have been my brush. You know, there's so many variables. So 
it's looking fairly good right now. It's looking like it did when I first shaved last time. Actually looking a little better even. So let me clean up. I got a housewarming party to go to today. Okay, make sure your hands are wiped off really well when handling a razor. And let's uh, let's do this. Okay, my razor, of course, is cutting beautifully. Remember when pulling the skin, if you don't have really good grip on your fingers, use the Allen block. Nice pass, nice first pass, and uh, it definitely took off all the hair, the razor did, for sure. Let me close that up a bit. And of course my water is brown now. Okay, so like I had before, I had a very nice, it was fairly slick in between. Let's put another uh, layer on here, another lobe. See, so this is a perfect example of what happens when you test a product or try out a product for the first time. And it doesn't perform well for you the first time. But now it's the second shave and it definitely performed better. I could feel it, I could feel the cushion, uh, I could see it. Um, the soap is thicker, um, it's not breaking down, and look at the uh look at the look at the slickness behind there. So it is a good soap. It's a it's a very good soap. Obviously, it's made well, but in Italy, but again, you know, this is all your personal preference because even though this soap is performing better the second time, 
I'm still not investing $80 in buying a tub of this stuff. You know, I get it. Like I said, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, it's performing better, but Martin de Condre, um, de Palma, the uh, Aqua de Palma, all those cologne, all those uh, soaps that are like a lot of money. I don't have any of those. And the reason I don't have those is because there's too many soap makers out there making quality products that are just as good and smell just as great at a third the price. I, I absolutely, I won't discourage you from buying this if that's what you feel you want to do, obviously. I'm not a salesman for Nueve or any other company. I don't, I don't sell their soaps. I normally I buy their soaps. And then if there's something I don't like about them, I'll either piff them to somebody else, I'll resell them, or, uh, but I won't do a video about it. So, um, You know, but after you get past the scent of a soap, after you get past the scent, they're all pretty much shaving soap. So they all have steric acid. They all have those potassium things in them. They all have the stuff that makes them lather up. Some just lather up better than others. And this this holds peaks. It definitely holds peaks. But for me, I don't know. It's just not. And you know, everybody's got their own personal opinions, right? What do they say? Your mileage may vary, right? That's what everybody needs to keep in mind. Your mileage may vary. This soap by the third pass is very thin on my face you could see my skin right through it and i'm putting zero pressure with the brush just brushing it on so for some reason for me this soap seems to it doesn't last even in the brush like um like cad does i'll just use that as an example i can get four or five passes out of a brush that same brush with cad where when I'm using this soap, by the third pass, it's pretty thin and there's nothing left. You 
you know, everybody's going to be a little different. So if you find that you, man, you love this soap, all for you, brother. There's nothing wrong with this soap from what I can tell. Um, uh, other than it's way overpriced and it didn't last good in my brush now. But the scent, fantastic. I love it. Maybe the, uh, the brown soap that's in my sink, the drops of brown that's all over my white sink. Those are a few things. Look how thin this got. It doesn't, la it doesn't stay long. Very nice. Okay. The Razor, Swedish Steel Parker, Japanese made, 6 8 square tip. Very nice razor. I honed it myself, sharper than sharp, no issues with the razor at all. And um, the brush, I probably have used this 50 times already. Omega 1098 bore professional and it's a beautiful brush so now supposedly again like I said in my last video now you don't wash it off you just put some back on your face as your aftershave like that and rub it in rub it into your skin and this is the best part of the whole soap, in my opinion. That by doing this, um, my face felt soft and moisturized, and it smelled great for like at least an hour and a half afterwards, at least 90 minutes. Um, so we'll try it again today and see how long it lasts. Guys, uh, Nueve Blue, again, you know, your mileage may vary. Everyone's going to decide if they like it or not. Based on how much money you want to spend on a soap. So there you have it. My, uh, um, I believe this is my ninth, my ninth shave. Straight razor sh shave straight in 30 out of 30. Um, but uh, I'm getting mixed up, so don't hold me to that. Um, I'll post it. I'll leave messages below and if you have anything interesting that you want to comment please feel free to leave your comments and also put the thumbs down i love all you guys i love one guy puts the thumbs down on all of my videos do it i love it man you know what it makes me want to do better every time so thank you for the thumbs down and you guys have a great day a great weekend and even better have a great shave